Check out WoozyMoo.com for anything and everything collectibles. What is going on viewers of YouTube? Sunspot here and I am back to give you guys my unboxing video of the Hot Toys Daredevil Season 2 1 6 scale The Punisher collectible figure. Hello everyone. Happy Holidays. You should be seeing this the day after Christmas. If not, something went horribly, horribly, horribly wrong and I wasn't able to upload this or review this properly. Hopefully everything went well because I'm very much looking forward to opening this because it's beautiful. Do you know why? Because look at that packaging. It's awesome. I love the uh, gray landscape that they have going on here. Very unique to Hot Toys and I own a lot of these so it's nice to get something different considering I keep all these boxes and the art is just nice. I opened the shipper off camera, hope y'all didn't mind, but it really wasn't too interesting. Here's the uh, rest of the box. Do love this kind of this blood splatter, but it's black, which I do like. It's nice to say the Punisher right there. And the back, the side again, and we are back to the front. If you don't mind, I'm going to bring this guy closer. Oh god, don't fall over, because that would be very bad. And we're going to get this unboxing started. So I'm going to remove the turntable underneath, as usual, and get this guy started. I do have my cutting tool. And yeah, let's put him on his side and get rolling. Oh wow, there's a clamshell. So, okay, I didn't know that. Ooh, look how pretty he is. You can't see him. Isn't that awesome? There he is. Uh, I know, you can't see him too well, but uh, he's in there. And he looks nice. Where is this trench coat? I guess the trench coat comes at the back of the box. Or, yeah. And, ooh, that's kind of cool looking. I like that. Okay, let's get started. Because I've waited for this guy forever. I have waited for this forever. I have the Daredevil, and he's a balloon head. If you don't know what I mean, look at him. Look at any review. He is... His head is just giant compared to his body. And I do want to note that this is coming to me courtesy of my brother, who gave this to me as a Christmas present, for which I am highly appreciative. Because once again, I'm excited about this guy. He looks awesome. Oh yeah, so he comes with that signature uh, Netflix stand thing that the Daredevil has, those giant ones. So. Um, there's his, obviously it says Daredevil, because uh, this is the Punisher from Season 2, not his own TV show. We don't know uh, at the time of this recording if there is going to be a uh, Hot Toys Punisher from his TV show, I'm assuming, but uh, so far we only have this and Daredevil. No Kingpin or anybody, or Jessica Jones or Luke Cage, so yeah. There you go. Oh, I forgot he comes with Daredevil's uh, mask. Sweet! Alright, let's open him. Let's open him. Classic clamshell, which is about to scare the living hell out of me. Because everything falls out of clamshells, I must say. Let's take him out. And there we go. And here he is. Remove that. And wow, that head sculpt is nice. Check that out. Look how nice... Whoa! little stiff, but, uh, wow, that is nice looking. Really, really looks like him. He does have a cut right here, which I do like. I like that touch. So, very nice. You can see all the stubble and everything. This is Shane from The Walking Dead, basically. This is your Shane figure. Um, so let's remove these, if I even can. Wow, they are tight. I guess I can't. I gotta use my... Damn it. I hate these stupid things. I mean, they're to protect the figure, but... Yeah, so it looks like he has the, you know, Tony Stark style arms, which is fine. I don't like those, well, I mean, sometimes they're okay, but those seamless arms, okay, and there's his, uh, his chest right there, so very, very nice. Um, let me put him aside for one moment so we could check out what else is going on in here. He does come with a ton of weapons, a ton. Here is his sniper rifle, which looks absolutely stunning some close-up details. This actually works. So that's kind of cool. This, I guess folds. Very cool. Check that out. Nice scope, everything. So, 
oh, the magazine comes out too, which is awesome. You can see the bullets in there. Very cool. Does come with standard pistol, you know. I don't know the name of this gun, but that comes out, and that's awesome. You can see bullets in there. You can't really cock this back, but that's okay. Kind of clips in. Sweet. Awesome. Does come with... Let me move this a bit closer. Sorry, guys. Does come with Daredevil's mask right here. Sorry about the focus. This is from Season 2. So there you go. I really like how that looks. Very beautiful. It'll go good with my Daredevil figure, too. Um, he does come with, you know, wrist pegs and shit like that. Sorry for my cursing, by the way. Uh, the big accessory is this. Yeah. It's gigantic. This actually turns, which is awesome. Uh, what else moves on this thing? I, I want to be careful, because usually these guns are pretty fragile. But looks like that's about it. Um, that's fine. Very awesome. Very cool. Cool. Um, obviously the bullets for it are uh, right over here. Give me a sec. Whoa, these actually have some weight to them. Interesting. Alright. Let's remove these out. So it's a, it's a rubbery mater material. But uh, hefty. I'm actually surprised. Um, let's see what else we got in here. Move his knives. His hands, I don't think anybody cares about his hands, so I'll just leave those aside for a bit. Put those where I can. Sorry. Um, I don't really know where to put them. There we go. He comes with a knife and a sheath. There you go. Pointy. Ouch. And you can, of course, put it in, I guess. Wrong way? Right, no, wrong way. Sorry. There you go. You, you all get the point. <laughs> Is it held by a magnet? I think it's held by a magnet. Oh, that's cool. It's held by a magnet. Sweet. Awesome. And he does come with... Oh, I gotta remove this. Ah, the pain. I hate clamshells. It's scurry. Alright. Here's a stand. Just your standard Daredevil stand. You know. Okay. And of course, his trench coat. And a crotch cradle. Because you can't have a Hot Toys figure without your crotch cradle. Let's unbox this. Um, let's actually remove everything out of these plastic prisms. A pleathery material. Nice. So let's put him in that, right? Ugh, Punisher, come on. There he is. Of course he's in his plastic, but, you know, what can you do? Now that was a bitch to put on, but I managed. I managed. I don't know why I didn't take the hands off to begin with, because that would have been easier. Anywho, um, here it is, and it looks fantastic on him. He's fully loaded. And ready to go on display. So, I think he looks absolutely wonderful. Again, get a closer image on everything. There's his head. Wonderful sculpt. Love this material right here. Nice pleathery material for the trench coat. Great tailoring all the way around. Nothing's loose or anything. Nice boots. So, um, wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. I love this figure, and he's going to look awesome with the rest of my Marvel Hot Toys collection. I can't wait to get them all geared up and on display, posing them around, and nope, that didn't work. Okay, I just wanted to try that for the hell of it, but uh, yeah, there you go. I'm going to put uh, all of his accessories all out nice for the thumbnail, of course, because we all love the thumbnail and then I'm gonna move this guy and push him back so yeah what do you guys think of this figure cuz so far I'm in love with him he's so damn cool just a good figure overall there he is officially all geared up so let me know what you guys think of this figure I'm in love with him I think he's 
awesome, and I think his accessories are pretty cool, too. And, uh, yeah, go check out The Sanctuary on our Facebook group, as well as our YouTube channel. Check out the content creators at The Sanctuary, all of which are listed down below in the description. Uh, and with that said, people, if you did enjoy this video, please like, subscribe, comment. Check out my site at sunspotreviews.com, and I will see you guys in my next video.